Hi everyone, this is Jim Thornton from Inbound Found, and this is just a quick video on how to change a product photo from having an off-white background to having just a purely white background. Now there's two scenarios in which you might run into, to, so one scenario is it's, it's, it's relatively simple and straightforward, we're going to do that on this one. Then the other scenario is where it gets a little bit more complicated and your off-white background and your product itself has enough similarities in colors that the first method's not going to work and I'll, I'll sort of show you what to do as a workaround. First thing we're going to do with this, this product photo, and you should be able to see this off-white line. If you can't, you should at least be able to see it here because there's a bit of a shadow that's, that's stronger here than it is maybe over here. So I'm going to go to my create or edit new, um, I'm sorry, create new fill or adjustment layers icon. Looks like a little half semicircle down here. And I'm going to go to curves. With the curves, you have three options here for setting a, a black point, a gray point, and a white point. We're going to click on the set white point. Now, if I hover over it, you'll see it says sample an image to set white point. So I click on that, and then I want to find sort of the darkest off-white point on this photo. It's about here, from what I can see. And voila, so this one's done. Now, that was relatively simple and straightforward. Um, but, but let's go over and try to do it over here and you'll, you'll sort of see what the issue is. So I'm gonna go back to, you know, I've got my layer selected. I'm gonna go back to my create new fill or adjustment layer icon. I'm gonna click on curves. I'm gonna go over to white point, set white point. And then I'm gonna find one of these top corners so that looks like where it's, the, where it's the darkest. And you'll see here this fluorescent light in the middle just got totally wiped out. Any um, detail in it got totally wiped out. So what we need to do first is say, remove that curves level, go back to this layer. And what I, there's a bunch of ways to do this, but the way that I'm gonna do it is by simply going to the quick selection tool and I'm gonna start highlighting everything that I don't really want. Now I'm just holding down on the mouse at this point and highlighting this outer rim until pretty much everything's selected. Now it's not gonna be perfect. We don't really care about that because we can go back and we can fix it. Here we can say, okay, well, it took too much of this product image, so now let's hit the Alt key or the Option key, and you'll see it goes from being a plus sign to a minus sign. And then I can kind of go through there and I can remove some of that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but what we're gonna do here is once this is sort of selected to the level that we want it to be selected, maybe I'll remove a little bit more there, um, I'm gonna hit Command C or Control C if you're on a uh, PC and then I'm going to hit command V or control C and that will give me my new layer with this part cut out and it's going to essentially be a mask that goes over the old layer so now if I'm just if I just have my old layer selected you can see that we have our product and our product is going to be protected or the image itself is going to be pr protected when we use our curves set white point method to remove the off-white space around the product image. So just bear with me. So we're gonna select this layer where we had created this mask. We're gonna to go to our curves properties tool. We're gonna to go to our set white point button, and then we're gonna set a white point as the darkest off-white point. Now that we've done that, you'll see that it's applied this curves property of setting the white point to both layers and we only wanted it to be applied to this top layer so what we can do is we can select our curves layer we can go to layer merge down and that will merge that just with the top layer and it'll leave the bottom layer alone so now you can see we have a perfectly white background and our product image is intact and we've got a little bit of cleanup to do so you can see here okay there's some non-white space that we have to deal with. So I'm just gonna show the background image, but I'm gonna select the top layer, and I'm gonna go over to my eraser tool. I'm gonna make my brush size like pretty small, maybe like 15. I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm just going to click over here, and then I'm gonna hold down the shift key, and I'm gonna click over here to draw a straight line with my eraser. And that sort of will start to clean that up. And I'll go back and forth kind of doing that as needed. So I need a little bit of a smaller one. Let's see, oops. I think this may be like a 10. 
I'm going to go over here and again I'm just holding down the shift key to get it right where I want to go back and clean it up by erasing the little outside edges on the top one to kind of smooth everything out. And there you go. Do as much or as little detail work as you like. Okay, thanks for watching.